Hello guys, this is Rising Silence. Welcome to my first English video. Just because I think the problem I'm gonna tell you about, I think it applies on so many guys. I just have to make it, uh, make it on a universal language and I think that's English <laughs> and not German or not uh, Franconian. So let's start right away. Do you know that feel when jumping into Battlefield 3 again? How snappy the aiming is? How more responsive the mouse is? And all things like that. And it, you can, it's just easier to aim, it's easier to stay on target, and it's so much friggin' easier to get people out of head glitches. And I finally, finally, after googling 20 hours and more, and after what one year after launch, I finally found myself some settings to get rid of that sluggish mouse movement I can't even describe it it's like your soldier has overweight but I finally got this to fix and I want to share all my settings with you because I honestly don't have a clue what ultimately made the change but I don't care because the fi it finally works it's so s as exactly as snappy as in Battlefield 3 and <laughs> I, suddenly I have my twitch aim back, suddenly I can aim, suddenly I can get people out of head glitches. This game is finally enjoying for me just because I finally can aim. And that's why I want to share all my settings with you. But let's start with step one. Just navigate to your documents folder, then Battlefield 4 settings. Documents, Battlefield 4 settings. Prof save profile, just back that file up because we're gonna do some changes to it. Open it with WordPad. Find the first line of uh, GST input, which starts here with that zone. Just mark all lines down to uh, input Sheem 3 sticks and replace those lines with the lines you find under this, uh, in the description of the video under ProfSafe profile. Uh, you won't add any lines, you're just changing some values. And I'm going to explain that to you now. Um, first thing, you got to re edit those two lines to your actually uh, actual mouse sensitivity because obviously I can't know that so those two values have to be changed to yours it just seemed to be easier to copy one piece of text so make sure you back that up um, let's start with that zone that zone center and uh, all the scheme sensitivities simply are settings which are claimed to cause input lag so I just zeroed it out and it works fine. Um, those two sec uh, settings I didn't even touch. Uh, leaning enabled 1 means leaning is disabled. Leaning enabled 0 would mean it is enabled. For me as a competitive player I just want to get rid of all those leaning uh, stuff uh, so I enabled it. It's not necessary so you can leave it to zero or re-edit to zero if you want that leaning mechanism enabled. Mouse raw input, it's actually on zero. That's the last change I made. The very last change. And I think it helped pretty much to get rid of rid of the last input lag. I don't don't ask me how I'm <laughs> I'm not a technician. I don't know what's going on, but it just seemed to help, so I zeroed it out. Um, that should be it. Yo, so you got the prof save profile changed. That was step one. Step two would be navigate to your Battlefield 4 game main folder, which is uh, in Origin Games. Then make sure that the program is run as administrator. Both programs, to be exactly, to be exact. Um, so those both uh, those are both always run as administrator. I don't know uh, if it helps. Those are just my settings with uh, those settings are working. That's all I want to say. Sorry for my crappy English. I don't know. I don't even know how to express myself. So ah, step two is not finished yet. In the main folder, we have to do another thing. Um, we need our own user CFG. I'll show you how to create that. Um, just create a new text document on your desktop then insert the user CFG f uh, lines which I have also of course in the video description so let's assume those are the lines then save it as 
of course you have to re-navigate in that folder. You can create the text file in the main folder so you don't have to re-navigate to it. So we are in the main folder user.cfg. So this is uh, always read when you start the game. Uh, you have to use the quotes because if you don't use the quotes it's gonna be saved as a text file and you don't want that. You want to save it as a CFG config file. So that's it. You have saved the config. Um, that's it for step two. Step three would be um, download the Mark C mouse fix. Link is of course in the description. After extracting the archive, you can just uh, open the folder uh, and depending on which uh, OS you're running with, you can select the specific folder. For me, it's 8.1. Uh, and add just this to the registry. What does that do? It does eliminate every kind of mouse uh, mouse acceleration. So uh, since we're using raw mouse input zero, so that's basically the Windows mouse movement as far as I know, uh, it would, uh, if you had some mouse acceleration, it would be uh, taken into the game so we don't want that so we disable this deadly serious it's off now so we can check that by mouse movement recorder oops run as administrator you can see everything is off so this uh, if you had some mouse movement uh, mouse acceleration you had on and it would be red the box would be red so this is everything fine that's how it should it should be so that's it for step three um some random facts about my system because i don't have a clue what i'm doing here actually it's just i'm just showing you the settings uh which finally worked for me uh, the technical details i don't know but i'm just gonna complete my attributes um, Hyperthreading for me is on. I found some threads which uh, some guys complained about hyperthreading not working properly and causing input lag, but uh, not for me, so I left it on. Graphic settings I'm gonna show you in game in a second. That we have done. That's just my script, by the way. Um, no keyboard mouse software running, but original drivers installed, which is Razer for me. No Microsoft crap drivers, just original drivers. Uh, my Razer Death Adder, uh, Death Adder 2013 has a 1000Hz pull rate, uh, 1800 DPI, and my in-game sensitivity for Battlefield 4 is 0 0.016850. No Windows 8.1 mouse fix is installed since I never had a problem of my mouse crashing or something like this. So just mark C. That's my system. You can pause the video now to read it if you're interested. Um, and that's basically it. I'm going to show you the in game settings and then we should be good to go. You should be, uh, you should have exact the same settings as I and should be rid of all the input lag of Battlefield 4 and can finally aim like in Battlefield 3. One thing I forgot, let me uh, revisit the user CFG, I forgot to explain you the values. Um, not that I could, but I try. <laughs> uh, render device, render ahead limit zero, this just means that the CPU doesn't hold frames back for your GPU but directly send every frame to your GPU, so it sh uh, should reduce, or for me it reduces input lag. Uh, technical standpoint, I don't have a clue anyway. Uh, GST render vsync zero, uh, just disables uh, vsync. I'm just, I just uh, put it in there to go sure. It's really, really disabled every time I start the game. Those values are all by rival X factor, uh, which should help you not getting suppressed visually in the game. And it's also part of my menta uh, mentality. Eye candy comes last. Uh, stable FPS and uh, competitiveness comes first. So this might look very ugly to you if you play it on Ultra. 
uh, you can leave it away uh, if you wish to have eye candy you can leave it away I don't think it affects input lag too much uh, yeah triple buffering enable uh, some say if you zero that out it causes input lag for me it doesn't so it just helped me with input lag so I keep I kept that on zero uh, game time max variable FPS you can set your uh, monitors refresh rate plus one because everything about this the monitor can't display anyway so why don't save a little uh, heat and power consumption by limit your FPS to your Hertz rate of your monitor plus one it's enough for sure so um, now we get to the in-game settings finally so now we're in game, let me spawn oh I can't spawn <laughs> doesn't matter that's my in-game settings raw input we set on off, it kinda helped me um, uniform soldier aiming is off and that's basically all on standard, standard settings gameplay shouldn't matter at all graphics I got a feel of view of 70 Hor plus 86 same for the vehicles um, field of view scaling is off and that kinda gives the battlefield 3 feeling back of some zooming in when using your ADS scopes uh, your, your red dot scopes um, graphic quality is pretty much everything on low because I'm playing uh, well I'm playing ambitious and not for eye candy so uh, basically I just wanted to have max FPS but no uh, gameplay disadvantages so for that I have texture quality and filtering on high since it doesn't matter at all uh, and the mesh quality is uh, at high because yeah, I think you know that uh, everything. Uh, every one of you know that that if you set this on low, it just fucks up with your geometry, and you can't hit people in far distance because uh, the map is not rendered uh, with enough detail. Well, basically everything else is disabled or off or low. And basically that's it for my in-game settings so that's it for the tutorial I hope my English was uh, a bit acceptable um, for me it was a game breaker now it's gone I can finally play the game after one year of pure frustration and not being able to aim properly twitch aiming not possible even though this very same sensitivity of Battlefield 3 and now finally it's working I'm so happy I hope you're happy too uh, leave your comments down below give me feedback tell me if it works tell me if you can feel a difference tell me if you had issues at all since some players didn't have issues at all um, to those I just can uh, I can say uh, I'm very jealous about that one year you could play <laughs> and but uh, I'm happy that I can play now. Bye bye. Thank you.